Welcome to Crimson Ink. I'm Barb and this is my store in Adelaide, Australia. In this short TV series, we're going to show off our work through real clients, challenges and community work. While doing this, we're going to give you a taste of what it's like to work in a tattoo studio. I'm going to take you through the process from start to finish, whether it's a brand new tattoo, cover up or tattoo removal. We want all our clients to enjoy their tattooing experience and leave here satisfied with their new tattoo. I have amazingly talented staff that have all different types of experience and a real passion for the art. Why don't you come in and check us out here at Crimson Ink. Today on Crimson Ink, our featured artist is Mark. Um, he's our apprentice and he's been with me over a year now and has evolved into a brilliant artist. He's studied hard and this really shows in his work. Today I'm tattooing Matt, an old client. We're continuing a piece I started about a year ago. It's grey wash with a splash of colour. First start we have our regular client Matt coming in for more work on his half sleeve. Hey Bob, how are you? Hey Matt, how are you doing? Yeah, good thanks, good. So you're uh, going to do a couple of hours today? Yep, yep, sure I am, back on the sleeve. Yep, yep. Uh, let's have a look and see what we're doing. Yep. Cool. So, oh, it's healed nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty happy great. with it. Cool, okay. Alright, so we'll do the hourglass and a bit of the background? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Excellent, come through. Cool. Jump up there. Fantastic. Just like this? Yeah, yeah. So today I'm getting more work done on my half sleeve here. Um, I'm getting the hourglass cover now. I think this is my fourth, fourth session so far. Uh, it's coming along nicely, it's nice and healed. Okay, like that. Put your arm out there, sure. Put down. It's just alcohol. <laughs> oh, that red's fairly nice. Yeah, mm, oh, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, good. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the frame black. Yep, nice. And then when we do the lighter background, that'll be the contrast. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to seeing how that skull looks once it's all finished up. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. When a client comes in for a second appointment, it's important to inspect the tattoo and see how it's coming along after it's had time to heal. Sometimes you might get a bit of dropout and these parts will need touching up. Matt's has healed quite well. Crimson Ink Tattoo Studio, what can I do for you? Oh, hey bro, how's it going? Yeah, that's killer, man. I've got this um, design that I drew up a couple of days ago. I was just wondering if you'd be interested. Uh, it's sort of a skull and a sort of like a gothic archway above the top of it. Yeah, if you're interested, I'll get you to come in and I'll show you some pictures and that. Yeah? Killer, bro. I'll see you soon then. See ya, man. Uh, today I'll be doing a black and white gothic style archway with a skull in front of it. Uh, I've actually got one of my good friends coming in today. I uh, rang him up earlier, seeing if he would want to come in for it. And he was all keen for that, so we got it going. Um, I reckon it'll probably only take about maybe three, four hours. Hey man, how's it going? So I got the design just here. Let's see what you think about it. So I was talking about. Yeah, that looks good. Love it. Yeah. 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 Killer bro. Sweet. Mad. So I'll just get you to fill out a form here, and I'll draw it up for you. All right. Cool. Right.
Mark has studied the fundamentals of drawing, and since starting here at Crimson Ink, I've really noticed the improvement in his tattoo work. So I reckon this is going to be a really fun piece. I'm just going to love how dark it's going to be and with all the negative areas and all that. I reckon it'll be a really fun piece to do. So I reckon... You want my arm further down? No, you're good, man. You're good. Mark has studied the fundamentals of drawing and since starting here at Crimson Ink, I've really noticed the improvement in his tattoo work. While Mark goes through the outline, we'll head back over and see how I'm going with Matt's half sleeve. We're doing a black and grey piece, which means no um, colour except black. And um, the black is diluted with distilled water to create different variants. Uh, this is really important because we need contrast in our tattoos to make them, uh, give them a bit of dimension. And um, we just work through, sometimes from light to dark, um, and then going back over with the dark. So Barb and I came up with this idea together. Um, it's had a few drafts, but um, we're obviously happy with the outcome now. We're both into anatomical heart, so we thought we'll get that in and uh, get some blood going down there as well to make it look a little bit realer. Um, the meaning behind it is, it's got a few different meanings. Um, the heart obviously represents my heart sort of thing, and there's lots of different clocks and hourglasses as you can see here, and that just represents times in my life that I've wanted to cherish and keep on my arm forever really, which is why it's a tattoo. Um, yeah, just a few more sessions. This bird doesn't really have a meaning, it just looks cool. It matches everything else. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. When I'm working with my clients on their designs, I take it on as if it's my own tattoo. A good example is Matt's design, as it's something I would wear myself. We decided to do $13 tattoos today for Friday the 13th as a bit of a promotion. We, uh, when I got to work this morning there was people lined out the door and as you can see they're still waiting. <laughs> um, yeah, so it should be a fun day. Every now and then we do these special days as a great generator for more business. They're a lot of fun and hopefully all these clients will come back. Oh, we're really busy today because we're doing $13 tattoos for Friday the 13th. We put it up on Facebook and we've oh, had an influx. The line was out the door when I got here this morning.
ACDC. Hello, Dave. We're Paddock with the Palmer Trophy. Hey, it'll get out. I'm doing this design for Rachel, it's for her parents, so she's going to have it on her thigh and we're just going to do it in grey wash style like this. I really enjoy doing roses and vintage style tattoos, so I'm looking forward to working on this piece, especially because it's about her parents, so it means a lot to her. Or you can just ignore me. And I'll just talk to you. Alright, I've got this rose tattoo to represent my parents. My dad passed like 20 years ago, and it was his birthday on Wednesday, so that's a D for David, his name. And on the other side is an R for my mum's name, and that's just to represent for them. I didn't get to finish her tattoo today, but the outline's done, so I'm looking forward to it healing up, ready for the colour work. We can go back over to Mark and see how he's going with the archway. I'm excited to see how that's going. At the moment I'm just doing a lot of light tarnishing, just getting all of the light shading and can work on from there to the detailing. We'll start out doing all of the skull and then we'll work our way up with the shading to the archway.
Okay. We're nearly at the end of this hourglass tattoo. We've been on it for a couple of hours now and um, I've just got to finish the top half here. I'm putting some black in and I'm going to go back through the whole tattoo and put white in highlight. Um, the, the, the highlights will make it, the glass look like glass and it will give it a bit of depth. I know you got a kanji symbol on your foot, what's with that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 2012, we all went to schoolies and it was the second day and uh, we all had a bit to drink and then I decided because I was one of the only 18 year olds that I'll go get a tattoo. Yeah. And it uh, wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Why is that? We just Googled anything, I just wanted something on my body, just getting excited. <laughs> I thought I was cool, walking down the street with a bit of bladder up over me, covering a little, <laughs> little tattoo. <laughs> I thought at the time it meant prosperity, but it's, it's actually vegetable. So, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I need to, talk, <laughs> need to get that covered up, I reckon. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. What did you want to cover it with? Um, I've always liked those sugar skull tattoos. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure if we have enough room to, to get detail or how, how we're actually going to cover that up. Okay. Um, where it is, you could probably do the... Which have it put it so she's got a rose in her hair, and then um, we can use like that a black a, rose to yeah. cover up the yeah, use okay. that as a cover up bit, and then uh, her face is free. Then we won't have anything underneath. And there'll be a lot. There'll be plenty of room to put detail through yeah, there and get it looking. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'd be really good. That'd look good. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was worth it. Worth getting the tattoo in the first place. A few memories, but yeah, won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pissed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, a few vodka, vodka shots and that's yeah. all it takes. Yeah. Vodka shots and 80 bucks, do a 10 minute tattoo. <laughs> Um, so now I'm adding some white, the final stages, um, and that creates, that's to highlight it, and that creates um, depth through contrast, and that's um, opposite ends of the scales, black and white. Okay, so we'll make that do for today. Yeah, sure. So um, I've done a couple of the cogs in the background here, just light grey. They will lighten up. They lighten up about 30%. And um, that's, we'll continue that through. We're going to do a couple of solid black ones like we've done around here. Yep. Sort of throughout it as well. And uh, the hourglass is the, large, uh, the last big piece that we've got. So. Awesome, yep. It's getting there. Happy with that? Yeah, looks sure. Good. good. No worries. Yeah, happy with that. Looks good. I love that skull. Yeah, don't touch it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I've just got the paper towel over it for you. you just take that off when you get home and give it your first wash. Yep. You know what to do. Yeah. Excellent. One more bit. Great. Cool. Awesome. No worries. All right, thanks for that. No worries, Matt. See you next time. Bye. I'm very happy with the way today's session went with Matt. We got through a fair bit and we'll be completing it next time. We can head back over to Mark and see how he's finishing up. Probably about another hour, hour and a half. The longest part of us are already done. The skull and that. A lot of the arch is just going to be a lot of negative space. Um, 
It might have been one time that like felt a little bit painful, but other than that, I'd say it's more like um, it's like someone drawing on you with a pen. So it's like a you can kind of feel like it's scratching your skin, tearing your skin a little bit, but there's no actual like yeah cringing or nothing. It's not it's not causing any real pain. teach you how to take care of it and all that. Alright. Cool. Alright, so I'll get you to have a look at it in the mirror. Yeah, sweet bro. Mad. Yeah, that's Good. killer. Sweet. Now when you're taking care of it and that, I'll get you to just clean it say three, four times a day. But when you're washing it, just make sure you're wiping it down with paper towel. Try not to use actual towels or hand towels yeah. or anything like that because they tend to hold germs in them and that. Yeah, now I've got paper towel. Cool. 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 So now I'll put them, I'll show you how much cream to put on. You really just need the minimal amount. See you watching? Yeah, of course I'm. It's just that much? Yeah. And then just evenly spread it around. And then just really rub it in until you can't see it anymore. And if you keep at it like that, just tend to not overdo it with the cream and all of that, then you should be fine. Sweet. So just put it on some whenever it goes a little bit dry? Yeah. That'll be good. So yeah, um, pretty much the Pirate Skulls, Grim Reaper, Tattoos, like any sort of skull with like a nice shading. Um, yeah, like a mean uh, grey, like a black and white tattoo. I try and stay away from like a uh, colour tattoos, unless like I was going to be getting more or less um, a sleeve of colour tattoos. I've got this skull here, and I liked it straight away because I can get any other tattoo around it, mix and match, you know, uh, can get a real nice sleeve out of it. And um, yeah, I was just up for it as soon as my mate told me about it. I'm pretty happy with this one. Yep. No worries. <laughs> there you go, mate. Cool. Cheers, bro. Nice. So, so. See you around, bro. Right, cheers. Have mate. a good day. Alright, that's it. The reason I chose to do this tattoo today was because I really love the black and white sort of dark negative look about it. This is the tattoo style that I personally would like to pursue. It's not really often that you get to do what you personally like to do. It's always sort of the client design and that. So it's good to do something different for a change. Next time on Crimson Ink, our featured artist is Steve and he will be tattooing Sarah who's a big Tim Burton fan. She's having um, a framed design of The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going to be tattooing my partner, Flan. Uh, a few months ago, we started a clown sock, with the first edition being Captain Spaulding. We're also going down to Semaphore to do a street talk, and we're going to ask some people their opinions on tattoos. 